Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, guys, we're going to rock and roll with it. Um, a lot of this stuff is, like, the guys that have been rocking with me for a little while, a lot of the stuff you've heard before, and the guys that are brand new, this is going to be brand new. The reason why I wanted to put this on, okay, I wanted to do a fact-finding boot camp is because I'm talking to the people that are doing, you know, like the calls and stuff like that, and I'm, I'm hearing problems. I'm hearing problems in the fact-finding, okay? People aren't getting answer, uh, question, uh, their questions answered. They're not gathering data. Uh, there's a couple of different people that are, you know, partnering up in here. And uh, the people that are setting appointments are not gathering data. And then they're not giving that data to the person that's doing the demo itself. And what happens is it's, it's, it's like a foundation that's built off the of sand. We, we, we don't know what the hell we're doing. So that's why I wanted to talk about this. I want to give you guys a refreshment. And then also I want to give you guys a song in the background. So um, real quick. Uh, it says it says 11 people. Is that 11? Okay. By show of hands, who needs help, like with fact finding? Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, let me see it one more time. By show of hands, who needs help with fact finding? Okay. Sure, I can always get better. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, yeah, that's my attitude too. Always get better. Okay. Yeah. So, listen, I'm telling you guys right now. I I know based on a fact finding and Gage knows on a fact finding Gage will do a phone call. I'll listen in Gage will hang up. I'm like, dude, that's a fucking deal. That's a deal. 100%. That's an agency deal for $2,000 on Thursday at 9 a.m. Tomorrow morning. I know for a fact. And if you, you know? do it like, if you do it like this, you can get it to drop sooner. Like it's, yeah, I, I, I just know, dude, I know a doctor. Okay. They've been doing so many deals. So when the doctor, you know, the guy gives them the symptoms, you know, it hurts when I turn this way. It hurts when I turn that way. The doctor's like, dude, you got a bulge in this. You, you know, I'm not 100%. Let me go a little bit deeper, but I know what it is. Okay. So Gage knows. Yo, yo Nate, you're doing a lot. Of, you're sending a lot of appointments. Do you yeah. ever get off and do your fact finding? You're like, dude, that, that, that was a good call. And yeah. I can help the guy. That's a deal. Do you ever feel that sensation? Yeah, I do. But I don't fact find enough. I feel like. Okay. On cold calls. Okay. So, you know, fact finding, sometimes we get excited when people communicate with us. Dude, yeah, I'll check it out. You know, hey, man, if I could do A, B, and C, we'd be looking at it. Yeah, dude, 100%, bro. I'll yeah. definitely do it. Come to find out that's not even the guy that signs the check. That happens. <laughs> that, that fucking happens. Okay. Has anyone ever did a, a, a demo presentation or sent a point with someone that is unable to sign or swipe a credit card? Yes and no. I mean, I think yeah. I think all of us have probably talked with one person or like, oh, yeah, I'll rock and roll with you, but it all sounds good. And at the end of the demo, it's like, yeah, now let me go check with the boss. <laughs> that happens, dude. That should happen. It sucks. That, dude, that happened. That happened to me. Okay? Yeah. That happens. Okay? So, you know, we, we, got, we want to go a little bit deeper on the fact finding. And I'll tell you guys how to handle that situation. Okay? I know, dude. I, and it's not about them telling you the right stuff. Gage has done fact finding sessions. Gage hunts up hangs up i'm like dude that guy's full of shit that's not real that's not real i, I got a guy that gage answered to uh gage he was a uh, online trainer 19 years old no offense to all my young people's a lot of young people's in here yo man you know i'm 19 i'm doing 10k a month you know like i came across the webinar i think uh i want to check it out you know i i i'll do 120 grand this year and i just want to check it out man you know how many clients you got oh man you know we got like 60 clients. How'd you do it? Man, just word of mouth, you know? Um, you know, just all social media. Gage hangs on my that, that kid's full of shit. Look him up on social. The dude got like 500 followers, 300 followers, 200 followers. It, 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 so you don't want to just go off of what they tell you, okay? You know, the guy, you know, makes 10K a month. Sounds qualified. The guy has a big social following. Sounds qualified. So you want to use your judgment combined with fact finding and you want to make an assessment. Okay. So let's transition real quick. Purpose of fact finding. Everybody, for the most part, should know this. I have a couple guys that are jumping on for the first time this week. The purpose of fact finding is to gather data, identify a problem, identify, wait, let's reword this problem. And solve the problem. You can say that different, a couple different ways. Okay, we want to gather data. 
we want to identify like the opportunity, the problem, and we want to you know provide a solution. That's the only thing we want to do. Okay, that's all we want to do. When we're fact finding, we want to find out where the opportunity's at, where the problem's at, where the pain point's at, and then based on the the fact finding, we want to build up. You know, we want to be able to solve that problem. Okay, I always talk like this. I'm gonna I want to find out some of the problems and why we're not doing fact finding. Some of us, but the the real deal, man. The real deal with this is that you want to fact find like a doctor. That's what you want to do. Okay, everyone here has heard me say this, man. You walk into the doctor's office. What is the first thing that they say? Somebody. Uh, what do you What are you in here for today? Dude, what brings you in today? Dude, Mike. What brings you, what brings you in, today? in here today? Doc, I don't feel so good. Okay, here's penicillin. Doesn't go down. Like that. <laughs> you have any allergies? No. Do you, uh... you guys are given just penicillin. You're giving steroids is what you're giving them. Hey, Doc, you know, I don't feel so good. Perfect. Here's the steroids. <laughs> that shit only works in Mexico, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys are doing that. Some of you guys are, not everybody, but that's what you guys are doing. The doctor goes like this. My shoulder it actually is kind of injured right now. Okay. I go into the doctors. In fact, I need to schedule a doctor. I'm like, what brings you in today? Doc, my shoulder's banged up. I start from a place of unknown. He doesn't know what the hell it, what it is. He don't know if I got freaking chlamydia. He don't know if I fucking need steroids. He doesn't know. Okay. Yeah, he's unknown. It's uncertain. Okay. Hey, what brings you in? My shoulder hurts. Perfect. Okay. Sharp pain, dull pain. Dull pain. Okay. Does it hurt when I do this? Does it hurt when I do that? Yes. Okay. How long has it been hurting? Uh, a couple years, but I just re-injured it. How'd you injure it? Lifting weights. Okay. What was the motion? It was this. Okay. Good. Let me check you out. Let me, let me, let me see what's going on here. Boom. Based on the fact finding, based on the data gathering, he's, he's starting from a place of unknown and he's coming to a place of knowing. Okay. Mike, I'm like 97% positive. That's a torn rotator cuff. I want to see how severe it is. Let me get you over to imaging to really find out, you know, and then we'll bring you back and we'll do some physical therapy, try that out. Worst case, we do a surgery. Let's not even go there. Let's do the, let's get the imaging going. Let's confirm what I know. And then we'll do the physical therapy. You need to start from here and you need to narrow down the points. You need to narrow down the points. Okay. Some of these guys have agencies. Some of them don't deliver. Some of them charge too much. Some of them, don't communicate with them. So you want to start, you don't want to give them the fucking steroids. You want to find out what the problem is. I have a shoulder problem. Okay. I leave. The next girl that comes after me, she has a knee problem. Gage goes in, he has a sore throat. Okay. So stop doing what you want and start doing what they need. Okay. That's finding. That is the purpose. We want to find the problem. We want to gather data, identify a problem, and solve the problem. Provide a solution. Okay. And we already know in business, sales, entrepreneurship, the only reason why anybody would do anything is because they want to solve a problem. Okay? That's it. That's it. The reason why y'all mess with me so tough is because me and Gabe have been able to do some cool stuff in the last couple of years. You're like, okay, I can mess with this cool because I'm looking at my, my marketing stuff, whatever that means. Okay? Because you want to solve some sort of problem. Okay? So, um, let me give you another show of hands. And Jalen, I want to lean on you a little bit. And all the guys that are like new, new. Have you guys ever did like a prospect phone call or a cold call and you just didn't quite gather the data? You didn't, you were like, you didn't fact find? Okay, Larry, you nodded your head yes. Why did you do that, dude? Why did you not get the data? And the yeah, I, I think for me, it was just, I was too afraid of asking all the questions and thinking that I was on the phone too long. Right. And since I already got an agreement for like an appointment, yep. I stopped asking questions. Yep. Yeah. You know, afraid, scared, hundred percent. You know, a lot of this stuff, man, is, is, is brand new, man. It's brand new. When I was in my early twenties, I told my dad, I was like, I want to start an agency to help dentists get jobs. Cause I used to do like staffing and recruiting. And I'm like, damn, these dentists, man, they're like, you know, they, they have like a decade of education. The youngest dentists are, are, are like in their late 30s. Most of them are like in middle age. What the fuck are they going to do to listen to a 22-year-old? 
Like I was, I was, I was scared. I was intimidated. I was nervous. I kept telling my dad I wanted to start a business, but I was scared. And I remember I met with the dentist when I was like 21. I found him randomly as like the first guy I met and I was fucking terrified. You know, I was nervous. I didn't even take off my sunshades and I even made an excuse why I didn't take off my shades. I'm like, dude, it's sunny out. I was nervous. Okay. I'm just telling you the truth. Full transparency. I'm far from that. That was over a decade ago. But I can tell you the reason why some of you guys are not gathering the data is because you're afraid. You're, you're, you're like impeding. You're like walking into their house. You've only been talking to him for two minutes and now he's supposed to tell me how much money he makes or what he specializes in. I, I literally randomly cold called the doctor and I'm 22 years old, 21, and he's supposed to tell me all about his business. That's not real. It is fucking real. Okay. It is real. The thing is what we're doing right now with we're making like cold calls. We're leading with the appointment. You're leading with the appointment. Okay. I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm afraid to ask questions because I'm impeding. I, 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 this is new. This is, this is foreign territory for me. I've never done it. So you're not, you're not getting the real data and all you want to do is just set that appointment. But guess what? That appointment dude is not real. It's not going to show up. The guy's just like, all right, man, call me Thursday at three o'clock, whatever. And then you're confused why he doesn't show up because you're trying to just to get the appointment. When yeah, you that happened to me a lot. Like a shit look. Like I, just wanted to like, I, wanted to, I wanted to like get out of the conversation as quick as I could. Like once I had set the appointment, like because I didn't want to like piss them off or something. How's that changed today though? Is that yeah. still happening? No, no, it doesn't. Like, I don't know. The more, like the longer the call goes, I find the more commitment you get really. Right. So, yeah. it, you know, we're, we're scared as hell, dude. I'm scared. Yeah. It it's, it's scary as hell, mm -hmm. but you guys, the reason, the problem with it is just like, all right, no, Mike says set three appointments a day. Mike says set five appointments. Like you're, you're, you're just trying to get the appointment and you're trying to, you know, like, let me get an illustration here. We're, we're doing this. There's the cold call. There's the fact finding. There's the appointment. There's the demo. There's the test close. And then there's a close. It, 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 you know, you're, it's like a building. Okay. You're building on a foundation of bullshit. Okay. There's no data. There's no, you're no, there's no data. And then you're trying to get this guy here and we're not even getting there because that shit's broken. Okay. Nate has partnered up with, Joseph Newton, okay? Nate, if you give him a bullshit back fine, Joseph's just making some stuff up. Yeah. Here, man, steroids. Yeah, you know? If you guys see me do back finding, dude, I get a whole page of notes. A whole page of notes. Gage knows, man. Gage is a fucking savage when it comes to fact finding. We had, like, a couple sales guys in the office a couple months back. You guys probably remember um, Amon and Bryson. Dude, Gage knows. We wouldn't, Gage wouldn't take any demos with those guys if they didn't have the data. I'm be like, dude, this guy's super hot. And, and Gage's like, dude, give me the data. He's like, bro, trust me, he's hot. Gage's like, dude, I'm not taking it. He's like, dude, just do it for me, man. Mike said to get three points, do it for me. Gage would get on, and this dude's not certified. He's not working in health and fitness. He kind of wanted to do it. Health and fitness is his passion, but he works at Walmart, which is fine. We can get him there. But why is Gage at the office at 7 o'clock on a Friday night waiting two hours for the guy at Walmart? It's because the foundation was bullshit, okay? So we, we really got to do this, guys. We really got to do this. We got to go deep on the fact finding. We got to gather the data, find the problem, and we got to find the fix. We got to solve it, okay? So stop leading with the appointments, okay? Before I, before I kind of go on into the fact finding questions itself, um, questions, comments so far? Anybody? Uh no. Okay, cool. Hey, no, hey guys, listen, listen, listen to what Mike's telling you guys. I mean, honestly, I've been, I've been in the financial industry for twenty years plus, and and this fact finding thing that's Mike Mike's dropping tonight, man, that, that's that's true to the game. I mean, because I manage over a hundred million dollars, and without asking questions and knowing exactly, you know, what they're looking for, what their pain points are, what you know, what kind of risk they're willing to take, or what you know, what what the outcome is that they're actually looking for. It would not exist. Not so down. listen to what Mike's telling you. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. So 
let me give you a little bit more on fact finding before I move into the questions itself. Okay. I, I, I kid you not. I kid you not. Not too long ago. Um, not too long ago. A guy found us on social, he found me engaged, and he is a management, uh, he runs a big law firm, and it's a management firm for uh, talent, professional athletes, actors and actresses, and they just happen to be based out of San Diego. You know, all these guys are usually based out of like LA or something like that, you know? The dude found me, and he represents the MMA people, and he knows that we did some stuff with Conor McGregor and stuff like that, so he actually sought us out, Okay. Through fact finding, I'm like, dude, what do you know about Facebook ads? He's like, bro, that's it. I think we're having this conversation. You're the Facebook guy, right? I know that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, 100%, dude. What, what, are you, like, what are you doing on Facebook ads? What do you mean? Like, how much are you spending on Facebook ads? He's like, we do about 100 grand in Facebook ads. Yeah, should he say that? 100 grand a month. A month, my bad. 100 grand a month. I fucking pause the phone and I'm like, Gage, this is a $20,000 retainer. I said that shit. I, I, didn't I say that? Okay. Be, for me to control a million dollars in ad spend, do you know how much responsibility that is? Like, I need to deliver. These guys are attorneys, okay? Just saying. So that conversation was completely different than the personal trainer that just got licensed that wants to buy a program. Okay, totally different. I might call, you know, hey, man, you know, tell me a little bit about your business. Oh, just got licensed, you know, working at 24 right now, you know, looking for some space, just want to kickstart this thing. Got another guy, big box gym, $2,000, $2,000 overhead. Dude, tell me what's going on right now. Mike, dude, I know there's an opportunity with Facebook ads. I know there's an opportunity to blow this up. Everyone talks about it. I have these jokers in the Northeast, man. They say they run it. I haven't got any leads. I'm looking for answers. Dude, how much are you spending right now? Well, shh, how much am I paying them? No, how much are you spending? Dude, we do five grand in ad spend. I'm paying these guys 2,500. Gage, this is a $7,000 retainer to us, easily. They're paying the fucking money without even getting the result, dude. You know, I already know. I'm not inflating my numbers or I'm not lowering my numbers. It's, it's based on the service. I'm going to control five grand in ad spend. I'm going to control a hundred grand in ad spend. This guy's going to buy my product. I'm not going to just change my numbers for the sake of changing my numbers. But what I am doing, I'm gathering data. I'm finding the opportunity and I'm solving the problem and I'm giving him the appropriate package or appropriate product for the, for the problem. I have one guy, dude. He wants to talk to me every single day. And he wants me to consult his team every single day. And he pays for that. Like, he pays for that. And then I got one guy that never talks to me. We do once a week, and he always reschedules. And he, ha he gets results, and he sells. He signs them up, and he's done three repeat businesses with me. We did his gym. We did his new bed. We have his other gym. And then he has his boy's facility that helps uh, aging people with uh, testosterone. He, Kurt, I didn't tell you about that one, Gage. This, the, the new testosterone. Oh, you heard it, right? I didn't know what it was, but he told me there was a new product. Yeah. So the, it, it works. So long story short, you, you know, you need to find out what the animal is. Do I have a pistol? Do I need a shotgun? Do I need a rifle? What am I tackling? What am I up against, dude? Am I having a $100 conversation or am I having a $100,000 conversation? That lawyer guy, we end up turning him down because I'm not the lawyer guy. and I'm not going to play with the man's $100,000. I'm not going to do it. I, it. You can't pay me enough. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll, I'll play you. with it. I'll, I'll hook you up if you feel All like right. you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He gonna burn my name. <laughs> no sir. No sir. Uh uh. You know better than that. But that that's that's real talk, dude. I told Gage like, dude, I don't I don't want to mess with that. You know, I don't want to mess with that. You know, that's just not my deal. Okay. So you want to fact find. You want to find the opportunity. You also want to know like what we're facing. Is it a big animal? Is it tiny? What is it? Okay. Fact finding questions, nothing special, nothing sexy. This whole thing's not sexy, okay? But I want you guys to get stronger here. Fact finding questions. Um, actually, my bad. Let me back up real quick. Afraid, and you're leaning with the appointment. You can frame the fact finding. And the way you frame it is like, hey, Maria, just heads up. I asked a lot of questions. And the reason why I asked a lot of questions is because I really want to put together a plan. That's going to help NBD Fitness. Um, so bear with me real quick. Question. How are you getting clients right now? Okay. So you're, you're, you're framing it why you need to ask questions. I'm asking questions for 10 minutes. Hey, I told you, Maria, I asked a lot of questions. Just a couple more. You know, tell me about this. Okay. And 
when you do it the right way, you're going to find that you're not pestering, you're not invasive, you're not asking, you're not blowing them up, you're not doing all this shit. You're going to find the exact opposite. What you're actually going to find is, Mike, this is very thorough. The last guy I spoke to didn't ask us any questions. I'm telling you right now, we're, we're getting deals against – we got a guy that shopped with Jim Launch, shopped with um, Alex's old guy, shopped with us. Ain't nobody talking to those other companies and talking to us and not signing with us, dude. Our, our sales game is better. And a lot of it's the fact, and, it, and, you know, it's, and it's very thorough. And I tell them, like, hey, Maria, I have a whole page of notes. What I want to do is I want to put together a plan, not for the guy down the street, but for Maria's gym, and show you exactly what the opportunity is. You know, like, give me like an hour. Give me till tomorrow, give me till X, and I'm going to present to you what my team and I came up with, but I need to go get with my team. You know, and that's when there's like a big deal. You know, we have our 1,500 or 2,000. Mike, I want call center services. Mike, I want coaching. Mike, I want X. I, I, when, it, when the deal is real, I can take a 24-hour to put, get, put together a real plan. No, Mike, that was very thorough, man. Thank you. It's not pestering. It's not invasive. It's not all up in their shit. It's being a professional. It's a fucking tour rotator cuff. Okay? Be a professional. Don't be the point setter boy. Be a professional. Be a professional. Fact finding questions. One of my favorite questions is how are you getting clients right now? How are you getting clients right now? The reason why I love this question so much, because I believe 100% wholeheartedly, Facebook and Instagram ads are the number one way to get clients for service-based businesses. Gym, personal trainer, chiro, dentist, plastic surgeon, oral surgeon, anodontist, periodontist. For service-based, I believe that ads are hands down the best way. And you guys gotta believe that too. I, I had a website company, I had an SEO company, I know all about Yelp, I know all about Groupon, I know about door hangers, I know about radio, I know about print. That shit's all good. Okay, I don't even need to tell you guys how important Facebook ads are because you guys won't even be doing this profession. So you, you know that you're going to expose them. How are you getting clients right now? Oh, Mike, we're advertising like right now on the radio, man. On the radio? You crazy? How are you advertising? Gage, Kurt, our guy Kurt, Big Box Jim. Okay? The guy who signed up, he did like three, four different new deals in our first 60 days. We brought him on one deal. He added a second location. He added a, a third product, and then he just added the testosterone guy. Four deals, and, and uh, it's been like 45 days. Kurt, true story. Kurt, how are you doing deals right now? Okay, do you remember what he said? Yeah. What did he say? <clears throat> Print campaigns, man, my mailers. He's sending out 5,000 mailers Fly. to the zip code. 5,000 mailers. Okay, Kurt, how much I cost you? It's cost you, man. Dude, it, 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 I, I sent 500 mailers. It was 800 bucks. What happened? Nothing happened. Why not? They're saying that you got to do it like follow-up campaigns. They're talking about follow-up campaigns on door mailers. <laughs> the mark, how crazy is that? Kurt, do you know I can reach 5,000 people for $20? And we can kidding? do it like every day? Get the hell out of here, Mike. Do it. I, I, I'm going to show you how to do it. Do pay like 800 bucks for 5,000 mailers or some crazy shit. Print, Okay. We see print and we rip it. We don't use print. The real only reason why social media works is because the whole world's on social media. You're putting your message in their face. It's a proactive approach. And even if I do see a mailer, I got to call. I got to show up with this one. I just opt in. Somebody calls me. I, I just opt in in that book. And then I'm on a drift. It's so much way better. So you guys got to know that. So first question is what? How are you getting clients right now? Mike, I got the door mailers. I already know that's a deal. Why? How much did you pay for that? I paid 800 bucks. Okay, what else is going on? Yeah, I signed up for five follow-up. Okay, this guy's spending four Gs on bullshit paper. I'm gonna cut his price in half and I'm gonna get way better results. This guy's inclined to spend to get people in the door. 100% it's a deal. No for a fact off the first question. Done, easy money. Gage, this guy. I'm swiping right now, watch. Done, killing him. How are you getting clients right now? Okay, well, word of mouth, okay? The reason why I tell you why Facebook is so important because none of these guys do Facebook and the few that do it, like the one out of 20 or maybe the one out of 15, they don't do it like you guys and they don't do it like me. They don't do it as good as us. 
well, we, we run Facebook ads. What are you doing? Well, you know, we like boost, boosted the post. Oh, really? How'd that go? Went pretty good. How many new leads did you get? How many new clients did you get from that? Oh, it's really kind of hard to judge. You can't really keep track of that. Hey, you're right. You can't keep track of that. But I figured it out. Let me show you how I do it. Okay. How are you getting clients right now? How's that work? These are sub -questions. How's that working for you? It's working good. We're going to say that regardless. It's working good. What, you know, like, you say good, like, you know what I'm saying? That's the truth, man. <laughs> they say it all the time. They're like, oh, it's going really good. It's going really well. Don't let them get the get away with that. Yeah, I always say, I always say, like, so roughly, how much, like, you know, would you say, like, five signups, like, you know, eight, how much are you talking? So people are like, yeah, it's, it's, it's going. And I'm like. Yeah, they're like, it's going, I don't really, I don't really have the data right now. I don't really have those numbers right now on hand, but it's going good. But listen, don't let them get away with that. They try yeah. to put it on me. Dude, how, how, how's it going right now? Dude, it's going good. Dude, that's awesome. You know, like when you say good, like how many leads are you getting? How many people are walking the doors in a month? Dude, it's like 15. 15? So you guys are all set. Love that. 15. Okay, cool. And then, you know, for the 15 leads, how many people are signing up? And how many people are like showing up? How many people are signing up? What's your offer? You know, like what, how long have you guys been doing this? Listen, obviously you guys have it going on. It's working agreement parentheses. But if I could show you how to like add a zero to that, I know this probably don't sound real to you, but I could show you how to get 150 or even more in a month. Would you be open to see how I can do that? Would you be open to discuss it? How are you going to do that? Mike? Dude, let me show you exactly how I do that. Okay. You, you, you got a, you got a time front computer now? Ooh, it's getting popping. It's getting popping. Look at GSF playing tonight, baby. Okay. So how are you getting clients right now? How's that working for you? How much are you spending on marketing? I literally asked them that. It's not about what you say. It's about your certainty. It's about your confidence. I'm not the internet boy that sets appointments. I'm the motherfucking high level consultant. I love people. I'm nice. I support people. I give people my all. But I need to get information if you want me to help you. Well, Mike, it's a cold call. Dude, I can help you. Okay, drink this water. Okay. How many clients do you have? PT. Mike, I'm killing it, man. I got like 15 clients. Dude, no way. How many can you handle? Shit, man. I, man, I'm, I could take them all, man. That's not a problem. Okay, cool. Gage's, Gage's thing we used to use is, is a lot. He'll talk to independent PT. How many clients do you have? Dude, I got like 20. He's like, oh, dude, that, I mean, you're. You got a real business. He's like, yeah, yeah, I got a real business. Yeah, come on now. You know, just like the uh, uh, ego. Gage is like, dude, if, if, like, if I can get you like 40, 50, is that even something you can accommodate to? That's Gage's thing. And he's, he's, help, he's making the guy close on himself. He's like, dude, you give me 50, bro, I'm going to send you a birthday present. And Gage is, just, Gage is just like, hey, man, if I can even get you like 40, 50, could you actually even take that on? He's like, bro, I'm going to figure it out. It, it happens. And that's just kind of more of a hook than fact finding. Um, Gage, you, you, that's your thing though. That's your thing. Yeah. This right here, how many clients do you have? I need to know if I'm having a hundred dollar conversation or if I'm having a 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 dollar conversation. You know, how many clients do you have? Like, you know, it's really hard to say, man. You know, I mean, we have, let's see what, 16 facilities now. You know, we have 1600 members each. I mean, PT, are you talking about PT or are you talking about members? I'm talking about members. You know, I, I did a fact finding live on Facebook. It's in the program. I did a fact finding call. I swiped the guy in 24 hours. He had 1,400 members. Did you guys see that? 1,400 members. He said it. He was a boy in my hand. And I'm his daddy. I'm just saying, you know, so you got it. You got it. That's just altitude, too. You guys got to have that altitude, certainty. You people know when you put in the work, and people know when you haven't put in the work. Okay, like if you if you if you've been in these deals for a long time, it's easy. If this is new, it's it's going to show. But you just got to keep practicing and drilling. Okay, let's move on, guys. Uh, how many clients can you comment? I just talked about that gauge. You know, funny ass question, dude. How, how, like, how soon do you can you come to these clients? Like, how soon do you want these clients? Like, realistically, you know, like what would, this is more like what would your expectation be? Man, I mean, honestly, realistically. Dude, if you can give me four, they, they go the opposite way, usually. Man, if you can just give me four more clients at the end of the month, man, that'd be awesome. You're just like four clients at the end of the month? Bro, I'm going to show you how to get that in the first week. Okay, and I'm only going off of the experience. Okay, how are you going to do that, man? Dude, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. You in front of the computer? Okay, 
Let's gather more data. What do you specialize in? CrossFit. I do general dentistry. I do, you know, um, rehab, you know, physical rehab. I do uh, power lifting. What do you specialize in? I want to know about the business. I want to gather the data. I want to find out. Man, what makes you guys different? What's your competitive advantage? Do everybody that comes in, they get a free X. They get a free Y. Okay? That's why it's different. Here's, here's, here's a, a question that a lot of people have problems with. And I need everybody to be honest. In the last 30 days, has anybody asked a question? Has anyone been uncomfortable or did not ask about how much money they make because it was uncomfortable? It, yeah, Mary, thank you. Yeah. Okay, Nick, is that, a, is that you saying yes? Okay, Nick, let me ask you this. Why is that uncomfortable for you? And just be, be honest, and I understand. I understand why it's uncomfortable. Why is that uncomfortable for you? Um, I, don't, I guess for me, when I was like a kid, my parents always taught me never to talk about money with people. I can understand that, dude. I can completely understand. My parents told me the same shit. Yeah. You know, don't talk about money. Shit, we ain't got no money. G government cheese. Damn cheese on my face. The hell, don't talk about money. Okay, uh, Larry, you nodded your head. Why is that uncomfortable for you? Or, or I'm sorry, Nick. Anything else to that point? Why you don't ask about money? Okay, I can understand that 100. percent Larry, why has that been uncomfortable about asking about how much money they make? Um, I think for me, it's just like, like. I think it's a mentality thing. It's like, oh, fuck, I'm like this 21-year-old kid asking them about how much money they're making. Like, yeah. I think it's just it's just me. Like, I don't feel like I belong asking them them, which is I, obviously a wrong mindset, right? I, yeah. I, I dude, I, that's very real to me. I understand that. Uh, any, anyone else have a reason why they have Because they it? broke. Yeah. What, what, what's uh, it? Yeah. Because they are broke, man. Because they're broke? Okay. <laughs> I thought Gia was asleep. I was waiting for I, I, I was like, like when Gia talks, man. I feel a little st stood up. So I feel like a little showed up sometimes, man. My boy got flames. <laughs> oh, shit. Take off your screen again, man. Uh, <laughs> you, you do a lot of cold calls, dude. You know that shit's against it. I know there's been times when you haven't been comfortable asking about how much money somebody makes. Am I right? Neha. Yeah, no, I don't think Gia cares. <laughs> Gia don't give a damn. <laughs> why, why for you? Yeah, no, it's just the same thing. And okay. like, I feel like I've had some people who just aren't comfortable like sharing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dude, politics, religion, money, it's sensitive, dude. It's sensitive. It's sensitive yeah. as hell. You know, um, my daughter said some shit recently. She's like, I don't care. My dad's rich in public. My wife almost had a heart attack. She's like, what did you say? <laughs> and then Alex was with us. He's like, who told you that? My wife was about to kill her. Like, you don't talk like that. You don't, you, you just, it's not a good look. So the reason why people don't ask about money, because it's very personal. I only been talking on a cold call for two minutes, and now you're going to tell me how much money you make? Yeah. Dude, go look at my demos, and I get, I have no problem asking for money, and I get no resistance when I ask about money. I get zero. Hey, dude, let me ask you a question. Dude, what's the biggest money you have? Um, I mean... It's tough to say. Like, what's historically? You've been at this deal for eight years. What's the biggest month you've had? Shit, man. I have to say, when we, you know, it's been a while. But like the 2011, 2012. Okay, and how much money were you making? Shit, man. Those were like the glory days. We're doing like 7,500k. Okay. And and what what like why how what happened? And, and where are you at today? Did we do like 40, 50? What what changed? Like, what's the difference? Dude, we had this badass marketing start. We had a badass sales team. The economy crash, whatever the hell it is. Okay. Why do I want to know? Why do I want to know how much money? I want to know what kind of conversation I'm having. I want to know where they're performing. I want to know, you know, what's the biggest deal you have? Shit, man. It was like February this year. You made 50 grand. Really? That's awesome, dude. How did you do that? Man, you know, everybody wants to get healthy and fit in the new year. Okay. And like, what kind of campaigns were you doing? Shit, man, we did it. You know, we're really vamping up for the new year. We had the radio going. We had the, uh, the little TV segment going. We had, you know, the, the football jerseys going for the Little League. We had, it was just a huge push. Um, okay. So, the biggest month is 50 grand. Where are you at, like, historically? Oh, man, we're riding around 30 solid every single month. We do 30 grand. Okay. Let me ask you this. Where do you want to be? 
man, if we can get to 50 grand, man, like shit, that would be the goal. Come on, bro, you think too small, man. Where do you, like, I got a magic wand. <laughs> I got a magic wand, bless you, salute. I got a magic wand. Where do you want to be? <laughs> shit, man, I want to be at 50 grand. Okay, like, is that real for you? Do you like, how soon do you want to get there? Man, if we can get there next February, dude, I could do it. Bro, now you want to transition into the appointment or you want to transition into the presentation. Bro, if I legit to show you how to get back to 50 grand, where you're not paying, you said radio, television, the football jerseys. I mean, if, if you're not paying like thousands of dollars on those types of marketing, and I could show you how to cut, it, cut the uh, cost in half, but still get that result, it's not better. If I could show you that, like, would you really consider you know, rocking with me? Would you consider, you know, taking a look at what, how I can make this happen? Dude, Mike, you got my attention. Dude, let me show you how to do it. When can I get you in front of the computer for about 15 minutes to show you exactly how I can do this? I mean, if you have time right now, dude, I'll show you. Okay? So, I think, I think you guys know what to say, but I want to give you something else. Don't ask questions for the sake of question, asking questions. Mike says, step number two of the sales process is fact fighting, and you're just going through the motions. Okay, what's your biggest one? What do you do? What do you specialize in? If you, if you guys see me on my live closes, I'm like a savant in this shit. Like, I, 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 like I, I'm, I'm gathering data. I, I, I gather and process data. I find the opportunity. It's, it, it, it's quick. It's quick. I already know where I'm at, what I'm doing, what's going on. Like, I, I literally, I go deep. I go deep on these guys, deep. And I'm literally only doing one thing. I'm only trying to find the problem and the solution. That's it. My fact finding sessions, probably 15 minutes of real conversation. You know, I have the big gym paying $200,000 a month. He gets off. He's like, that's a professional. He's, that's a professional. I got a guy that's he's a so, quote unquote badass sales guy. He's like, dude, you're, you're a pro, man. I'm like, bro, you ain't seen shit yet, man. What till you see what I came up with in my team? You know, I'm telling you. So look at you, look at you, man. Look at you. Okay. Um, so from the, from the, and, and dude, there's so much stuff with this. There's so many questions. Uh, what time is that? Okay, we've been going for like 40 minutes. This is not going to be one of the special things, but you guys just need to implement the stuff that we went over tonight. I want to hear some uh, comments. I want to hear some questions. If there's anything that I'm missing out, Augustine for sure, he's, he's the season pro. Add to this. This is not the Mike Barron show. This is the fucking, this is the crew show. So I want to add, uh, whenever you're going to ask somebody about their money situation, always ask them the follow-up question. Whatever answer they come up with, because you never know, it's all relative, right? Uh, somebody who's hundred thousand dollar a month, maybe uh, somebody, you know, one dollar a month. It's all relative based on what they feel comfortable with. So the next question you want to ask with once you find out what their money situation is, like how much, how much did you make this month, right? They might say ten grand. How'd you feel about that? Yeah. So always ask that. How'd you feel about that, right? Bring oh yeah. Into it so that way you can find out if that's a problem. That might not be the problem, right? You, then you got to keep back. Keep yep. Back. That's that's one hundred percent real. I I one hundred percent real. Um, what else y'all got? Questions, comments? Yo, quick question. Uh, more significant. Let's hear it. Uh, Let's so I, I actually had an example today. Um, one person, you, you actually had said this, Mike, don't ask questions for the sake of asking questions. I got yep. called out today because the lady was oh, like, what? whoa, that's a way to ask a question. Like right when I was doing my intro, I was like, quick question, like who's in your marketing? And she's like, oh, that's a great way to ask a question like sarcastically. <laughs> but obviously I'm coming, from, yeah. I'm coming from a place that's not like good and she's not, she's not reciprocating that, right? So it's how I asked right. that question was probably what turned her off. I've never, Larry, thank you for sharing, dude. I appreciate the honesty tonight. I don't know in the last couple of years, there you go, Gia. I don't know in the last couple of years where I've said, hey, who, who's doing your marketing? I, I, I find out like, oh, okay, dude, you're, you're doing Facebook, I see. Were, you, were you hooked up with the agency or were you doing in-house agency? Who's the agency? Like I, I ask kind of like that, um, but I don't, it, it's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like you, you kind of got to lay it up and then, you know, and it also too, man, another thing I want to give you guys, and I talked to Jalen about this. I talked to Larry about this. Uh, who else was on with us? Kyron was on with us and Jarrell. A lot of the stuff that we do in fact finding and marketing and sales and entrepreneurship, a lot of the stuff, the whole deal, it's artistry. 
It's fucking artistry. I'm gonna give you some of the framework that I learned from some of the people that taught me, but it's artistry. I know when I get on the ass, I know I look ghetto as fuck. I act ghetto as fuck. You know, my aunts tell me, how the hell does anybody do that? Like you look so ghetto. My, you know, I used to wear a suit every day. But it, that's that's like some of the swag. The way I'm acting right now is no different than I act with my wife. I'm telling you the truth. Same thing I act with my 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 grandma. Same thing, Gage. Is your boy turned? Are we turned up like this, dude? To pretty much all the damn time. Come on, dude. Am I putting on a show for these people, or is this the real deal? <laughs> no, this is every single damn day, and anybody that's been here for more than a couple of days should already know how it goes. So, so yeah. what I'm telling you guys is artistry. Be an artist. I was bringing up this comment earlier. If if you went out to lunch with Lady Gaga, you'd be like, "Damn, that bitch is weird. She she weird as hell." I guarantee it. She just she in her own little galaxy. She's an artist. I saw Post Malone perform live. Those guys are different. They're artists. That's the name. Prince. I was trying to think of Prince. Prince. They're artists, dude. And you, I, I just, I chose not to rap. I chose not to sing. I chose not to, to dance. I'm not as, you know, I chose this marketing game. So you got to be an artist. I, I heard about a PSO from Russell Brunson. My PSO is completely different than Russell Brunson's. Completely different than dance. Completely. I followed the framework and then I just do my ghetto shit. You know what I mean? So whatever it is, be an artist. Artistry. I hope you guys understand what I'm telling you. It's 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 like when they see me, they're like, okay, that's that's Mike Barron's thumbprint. You know, like I, I've had people in public, they're like, oh, you you mess with Mike Barron, and I'm I'm, shit, I'm barely getting started to keep it real, but there's there's like a thumbprint. There's there's a certain, you know, you know what you're gonna get. You know what you're gonna get. The brand is distinct. Okay, um, fact finding, fact finding. Gia, what you got, Claire? Two questions you must ask. Come on now. Number one, what is your retention rate, man? Number two, mm. what is your lifetime value, man? So you can use those information to close them, man. Come on, man. Give us a little bit more. Yeah. You told more. me that the people stay for six months. So if I can get people in and they stay for six months, do that five time ROI, man. And, and you know, I actually know about this. This is some Hex Lamar and Tom Hawkins shit. If I would, would you? I, Mike, really what I need, man, is just a flow of uh, uh, clients. We have a beautiful thing going on right here. It's awesome facilities right there on the best part in Tustin, Orange County. Beautiful storefront, good deal, F45 gym. I just want a stream of, like, clients, and that's what I'm looking for. Dude, li li listen, Scott, if I can actually do that for you and my offer made sense, would you actually take me serious and walk me with me today? Mike, if you have a good offer and I, and, and this can actually help me, I'll rock and roll with you today. So whatever the problem is that you're finding, if I could do that, and you got to be able to do that, okay? Don't just make up some bullshit. Like, I'm not going to lie to the attorney because that, that's not my deal. But if you can do that, and 99% of the time, if it's, if it's uh, service-based, Cairo, dentist, trainer, we can do that. And if you can't, I'm going to help you, okay? If I can solve that problem, would you rock with your boy today? Yeah, I think so. I got to see it first, too. Let me tell you exactly how to do that. Okay, let's hear some more, guys. Question, comments? Anybody? Okay. Yeah, I got one. Like, got? How, how in-depth should you go on fact-finding on the first call? Bro, as long as you need to. Okay. There's no like, all right, you got about 30, <laughs> 30 seconds, brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As long – dude, I need to wrap my head around the whole deal. Yeah. There, Gage, I'm telling you, Gage – Fuck, I don't even want to say it, dude. But Gage is like already at the 10 10k combo club month for this month himself, his damn self. We're today's the 10th. If he was in the Dan Henry group, he got the 10 combo club on new revenue for agency clients this month. Gage does a lot of deals on agency. We got streams of clients that come in every single every single day. And every now and then, Gage will bring me on on a deal. Gage brings me on the big deals, the, the big huge deals. He brings me on that deal, and he'll set the appointment. And even Gage will be like. He'll give me the notes. I'm like, hey, that's not enough data, dude. You need to call him back. He, I'm supposed to do, like, the close or the second touch tomorrow. Gage, yeah, you need to call him back. And, and wow. you just you need, to get, you need to get the data. It could be. I've done 30-minute fact-finding calls. I've done longer. Give, give me the data. Give, give, me the, give, me, give me the data. Give it yeah. to me. You know? And, 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 again, let me give this to you one more time. When you're a professional and you do this, the person that's talking to you, if they're on like some sort of level as a professional, they're like, okay, 
They understand it. They get it. Thank you for listening to me. I go talk to the doctor. Dude, thank you for listening to me, doc. Or the doctor just brushed me out the door. We've had good doctors. We've had good dentists. My, I, I went to the doc, doctor the other day. My aunt loves me so much. I, she thinks I'm still like a, a little boy. And she's like, how was that doctor's visit, honey? I'm like, good. She's like, was he nice to you? I'm like, yes. Did he listen to you? I'm like, yes. She's like, okay, good, honey. You know, you, you know when you go to the doctor's office and they, they listen to you, it feels good? Like, okay, this guy gets it. You know, I went to the new dentist for my daughter. Dude was so good, so thorough, so educational. Showed me everything. Gave Juliana all this stuff. I, I feel good. Professional. Yeah. I wasn't trying to rush out the door because of eight minutes, 30 minutes. Okay, guys, we're going to start dialing down in like two minutes. What else y'all got? So real quick, I want to give the crew a little something um, as yes. well so that way they're not beating themselves up either if somebody doesn't want to do business with you. Uh, you're going to find out in the first minute to minute and a half if you want to do business with this with these people. If they don't connect with you uh, vibe-wise, energy-wise, if, they, if they're not happy about whatever, you don't got to work with them, man. There's so much business out there. There's abundance of business out there. You got to have that mindset going into it before you even get on the call with them. Just know you're doing a great thing for them, their yep. family, and their legacy, right? Yep. You're going to be able to offer them so much more than what they're paying you as uh, you know to help them. So don't worry about it, man. If you don't connect on that first call, the second, it doesn't matter. You got more more leads out there that want your help and need your help. You, you know, I gotta I gotta piggyback off of that. Sometimes when we're first getting started. Shit, we'll do a backflip and we'll dance for a fucking for a nickel. And I've done it. I go back on my old contracts. I remember I was building websites for like 50 bucks a month with no startup fee. This is like right when I left my corporate job. And I was already like in my late 20s because I just had to get my feet wet. You guys are entrepreneurs. You choose who you can do business with. Okay? Oxy's talking about the vibe. I was watching a dope documentary. It's called um, it's, it's the Dr. Dre story and the Jimmy Iveen story on HBO the defiant ones. Everybody go see it. It's all about entrepreneurship and their story coming up. Dr. Dre says, Hey man, you might have an artist that's good, that's talented, but if I don't vibe right in the studio, I don't touch it. And I don't go off of my vibes. Engage. <laughs> Remember, I used to say that shit in the office. I'm like, man, you guys are fucking up my vibe. <laughs> or like, you, I, I, vibes, vibes, energy. If, if, if you don't feel it, dude, you're not going to be able to create and you're going to resent that guy and he's going to resent you. You know, like yeah. the, I, could, I could legit say everybody on here, legit, just for me to you, no bullshit. And you guys would agree with me. I got a good vibe with every fucking person here. There was one guy in the last six weeks I didn't vibe with. I me and Gage, I don't want to say we kicked him out, but we kicked him out. And, it, and he was not a bad person, dude. It was just a different vibe. And we terminated the contract mutually. The vibe wasn't there. I'm just telling the truth. You know, so good point. Uh, anybody got like one last thing? Yo, Frenchie. Toss, toss something out there. When, Frenchie, whenever you get on with... Frenchie, could you text Sigler and tell him I need like five minutes? Please? Okay, okay. Uh, what's up, G? When, when you first get on with somebody uh, for the demo, right? You've already had the uh, uh, fact-finding conversation. You're starting the demo. Um, you know, you want to ask them, hey, like, if I can me suit your needs, if I can do X, Y, Z, we rock and roll with me today. What's, what's a good way to phrase it without sounding like an asshole like hey are you gonna have to go ask your husband or your wife because if so like i don't want to waste my time with you what's the best way to frame that hey you you got a gauge okay let's get Gage some action come on man he, he, he's scrapping he's scrapping ready oh shit love me coach so you're talking about wanting to be able to ask if they're the one that's going to make the decision without coming on like too strong about it yeah because i don't want to talk for 30 minutes and have them be like yeah i need to go talk so and so now Right, dude, literally just asking, like, hey, man, like, are you handling everything, like, just you? Are you, like, rolling this thing solo, or do you have a team or, like, you know, partners that are doing this thing with you? Oh, dude, I got two partners that roll with me. We all do everything equally. Okay, cool. Here's what I'd like to do. And you ain't even got to ask him. Just make sure they're there. And then you don't even have to ask at all. Like, they're there. If they are involved in it, they'll be able to make the decision right there. If they're not involved, it's still his partners that do everything equally. They have a full understanding of what you're about to do. Even if that one dude's like the head guy, just mm -hmm. literally say, Hey man, here's what I'd like to do. You know, if, if that's your partners, I'd love to be able to create an understanding for them too. That way, you know, we can keep everything efficient. Those guys get up to speed and we don't have to worry about like any back and forth. You've got to check with them. And then we've got to, you know what I mean? It, it, it allows us to just go in efficiently. Mike, you got anything you want to add to that? Yeah, let, me, let, me, let me streamline it real quick for you. Hey, 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 Grant, listen, 
I know you're looking at the points in the month of October. I believe I can do that for you, man. You know, I'm going to show you what it is when we link back up on Thursday. Question for you, man. Like, if, if this makes sense, is there anyone else that needs to be involved to make a decision on this? Oh, yeah, my wife. Dude, that way she has a reality of it. Do you, you know, would it be best if you invited her along so I can show her what it is that you both have the information? Oh, yeah, we can do that. Okay, cool. Should I send her a calendar invite too? Uh, no, she'll be on the Zoom link. Hey, let me ask you a question. You know, I know you're looking to get 20 clients in the month of October. Um, dude, I know I can do that. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. You know, if everything makes sense on, on uh, Thursday, you know, would you feel confident if the offer is good, you know, getting started with me? I mean, I got to see it, but I, I, I believe so. Who else needs – is there anyone else that needs to be involved? Anyone else that needs to make a decision on this? Oh, yeah, it's actually the managing partner. Would it make sense to bring him along because I really want to show to him, show to him or her Give them reality and uh, make sure, you know, you guys have all the information. Simple as that. And that's how you fish out, you, you know, you, you, when you do that, they're going to like this. Oh, yeah, actually the owner. You're like, oh, you fuck the punk. <laughs> <laughs> that shit happens. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I need a favor. I need a favor. Augustine got something to say. What you got, player? No, no, I'm good, man. I was just going to say uh, I'll talk to you guys later, man. Okay. I got, I got one more thing. I talk a lot about sales. I talk a lot about mark, uh, sales and, and signing people up and the demonstration. Dude, your boy's a, a beast when it comes to marketing. Everybody hit me up on the DM and give me a couple of different things you guys want to talk about on the technical side. Mike, I don't know about the pixel. Mike, I don't know about the retargeting. Mike, I don't know. I tried the video thing. Or what's, what's, what does your drip look like? Or what, if, what about lead forms? Or what's the effectiveness of Kajabi? Like, give me, give me some topics so next time we get on, you know, we can actually talk about marketing, okay? And the reason, just so you know, 90% of my, my message is sales because you're going to find out that leads are easy. And once you really start get going with this game, you're like, fuck, I got to leads and all these dentists and all these fucking these uh, uh, personal trainers, they're not calling their leads and they need to teach them how to sell. And if you don't know how to sell, you're not going to teach them how to sell. And if they don't sell, then they quit, okay? Right. So, guys, thank you very much. I appreciate you hanging out. Love y'all, and uh, blow it up, man. All right, fellas. All right, y'all. Take it easy. Peace, guys. Peace.